So welcome back. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to start generating rules on the database side. The problem is right now that we have rules here saying you're not allowed to go into this specific path unless you have a role, da 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 da. Now the problem with that is still that I could go through a thing like Postman and just send data directly to Firebase and right now our rules are actually, you can just read and write whatever you want. It's a wild west up there, you can take and do whatever you want with the data. Now we could go in and try to actually manipulate this data directly inside the Firebase uh, console here under rules, database rules, but the problem is it's it's pretty chunky to write in here to be honest and, and I feel that even with the simulator I still don't get the progress I want and I don't understand the rules quite because they are actually pretty hard to write uh, manually. So somebody built something called Boat, Firebase Boat. Already the name is kind of cool so let's just install that into our application right away. So running an npm install here just to have that ready. Now inside uh, the bolt is actually, it has all the information about how we get started. It's under Firebase Bolt here. If I zoom in you can find the link but it's easier just to Google Firebase Bolt. There we go. Um, and if we scroll down here we'll get it getting started, how we actually get, use it, um, get going with Bolt and it's very very simple. You start writing JavaScript. Oh yeah, JavaScript. That's pretty awesome. So you can start making rules like this. This video I'm just going to introduce you to Bolt, next video I'm going to make the actual rules but Bolt is very very powerful, look at this, so I'm saying the path of post has read access, right? Anybody can read it. The path of post with a specific ID has write access, so we can, it's very easy to read and the rules that it generates are pretty complex like this, okay? So this is hard for me to read, the other one is very easy. So. I just wanted to give you guys a very simple example now. So what I've added inside the program now is one called Users Bolt. We're going to this is not working yet, so don't pull that into your Firebase yet. We're going to in the next couple of lessons change it so that it actually works for our Firebase setup with the actual rules that we've set up. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a command here saying um, Firebase Bolt and then the smaller than and then the name of the file we want to convert. So if I'm going into my a folder here where um, the Firebase folder that you guys have available up here there's actually a new one called users bolt so what I'm going to do is pretty much I'm going to convert the the user bolt file into JSON file that I can then import inside my uh, Firebase console directly and just to show you here's the JSON file that it generates and notice how complex this actually is to read now these are even simple rules but this is actually what matches if you're a user then you need to have a specific auth key if you're an admin you need to have the role of admin and you need um, to have be authenticated also for writing to roles you need to be an admin for writing to users you need to be notice I can reuse these commands and stuff like that so we'll build this in the next couple of lessons so it actually works because it doesn't right now but I just want to give you a very basic introduction to Bolt and then we'll start using it in the next lesson see you next time